Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a news video, because it's been a month since I did the last one. I think, I haven't checked. I know it's taking time, but we've been hard at work. You can really, as always, check that on our GitHub, where you can see the daily activity. Now we are getting to the point where we have a really slick character controller, the kind of thing you don't see in the average game development course, even in the majority of game development course. We have been working with uh, Brad and we also have James Taft in the team, so let, let me show you these two. Um, James is making videos for the channel that will come out in a little while, so I'm really pleased to have him. And we have Brad Bourne, he's the creator of the Super Fancy Pants or Fancy Pants series. Uh, you, if you played Flash games, you've probably seen this one. And he's advising us on game design. He's been reviewing the character controller, suggesting lots of improvements that led us to have this um, these slick gamepad controls on top of having good mouse controls with a separate camera and all. With that, I'm ready to record the first series for the game, or I should say course or episode. The game has gotten complex enough, so there's a lot of content to produce, right? There's a lot to say. And making it a single course, I know that with the previous project, it created some confusion. People were waiting for the entire thing to be available, even though each module was separate. In this one, you, the backers, you are going to get each episode in a bundle. You'll have a single place where you'll be able to download everything, but I'm still going to produce separate courses because just covering the character controller will be as big as the content we've promised for the Kickstarter, I think. Because we are going to show you how to create a hierarchical state machine. You can see the, the setup for the character in the top left corner of the screen. Now there's a good reason for that. It's that the top requested topic was best practices to create a game with Godot and from start to, to finish. Uh, how should I code if I want to create maybe a commercial game, maybe my dream game, maybe a sizable game? Um, something that's going to take more than two or three days, more than a game jam. And when you want to do that, you have to apply some patterns to your code at times. You have to be careful to organize your code, especially if you're going to be working with a team, working over months, because you will have to read your code again when you have to come back and fix bugs, those kinds of things. So we've really worked on that a lot and we've modified the code a lot. Again, you can see the code history on GitHub. Actually, if you go to our website, I'll post a link in the description. I've shared this guide, but these are our GDScript guidelines that we kept modifying and improving. You can now find here where we share our code style and some explanations for why we use this or that approach. Now really take it as an episodic series. Each course, the goal is to have it kind of self-contained so that you can learn from it instantly, you can follow it to the end. And for example, with the, the first course, you should have a nice character controller that you can drop in any game and it will just work. You can design the background however you'd like. Right now we're using a tile set for the game, but you can work with just regular collision rectangles. The character will still collide with them. It's just a kinematic body 2D with a bunch of code inside that gives it all these behaviors. Anyway, I'm going to get started recording. I will post my progress on Twitter and release this first course as soon as possible. Uh, Aditya and Henrique will help me with the video editing. There will be, while I record more videos, they will be editing the previous ones so that we can get it out as soon as possible. Um, 
Now, we've put our hearts into this. It's the result of a lot of work and teamwork. We've checked one another's code to increase the quality compared to the previous installment. So I hope that it will live up to your expectations, hopefully even deliver a bit more than, again, the total 40 videos we promised. I'll make the next devlog public so that we can talk a bit more about game design, those kinds of things. Uh, but that said, that's it for now. Expect the calls to come out in not too much time, let's say in two weeks. I said mid-August, so I think we will be in time. And for now, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. Let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I will answer, I guess. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.